All right, you might have seen our other video of the little eight pound glider beating your jet skis. If not, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link at the end of the video. This is it. It started off without the canards at the front and a single tail. We found that was just insanely twitchy, so hard to get the CG right. It was, it was ridiculously tail heavy without, you know, a, a run cam on the front, the battery right forward, two small screwdrivers and a chuck key from a drill. We just, what we had at the field, we were strapped up the front and we eventually managed to get the fly. Um, but even then, it was nose heavy. We took one of the weights off, it just flails around, falls around tail heavy. It was impossible to get right. So um, we've redesigned it, put these canards on the front. These are the elevators from the original kit. We bought two of these from Lidl. So these are the elevators there. You see they've got kebab skewers in here for reinforcement as a mini spa and kebab skewers going into the actual things here and into the fuselage. Sadly, I can't do a proper build video because I thought of showing this from requests after I've built it. I will buy another one in the next release and do a proper build video. But for now, this is what we've got. Okay, so the wing, as you can see, we've straightened this. I don't think it's all that necessary to straighten it. You would be fighting, being leveled in turns, but it's not going to be really noticeable. So the wing. In the bottom, cut out a square-shaped groove, and I've put my mini, mini talon spar in it. That, that is really strong. Okay, you can't even bend that, so that'll take a lot of G. Not that this is going to create a lot of G, but it'll take it. We've got that. We've got two 9-gram servers in the wing. Metal gear. No, these are plastic gears, sorry. Metal gear in the mini, mini talon. These are uh, plastic gears. I don't think it matters, but they're on top. Not going to get hit. Control horns go on top. Not going to get hit. Wires inlaid into the wing. To do that, simply cut a, cut a re-groove, hit it with your hairdryer, that opens the groove up. You then run the wire through here, another groove down there inside the wing, which you might be able to see in there, maybe. Yep. Yeah. And to get the wing in with these in place, it's a little bit fiddly. So slide the wing in up to the first servo, and you've got just enough length and cables in to get both cables through with a nice gap to get them through. And once they're in, pull them taut, and then slide the wing the rest of the way, and just keep pulling and then it'll just pop straight in, you can pull these in, nice and neat, clean install, job done. These are again, the elevators of the second kit we bought. Kit, <laughs> little glider. Um, again, kebab skewers inside them poking in, but no kebab skewer in them this time. I didn't see any need, it wasn't much load. This has since been chewed up by my Italian Greyhound puppy. A little sod, but uh, it's still fine, still looks great, still flies great. I have tried to take it apart a bit to show you the build, but in the end I thought, no, nah, it's, it's not going to work. So I'll just do a proper build video again that time. Now the ailerons. They're easy to use. Get your craft knife. Cut here. Here. And then score along there. Down to pretty much full length of the way through the wing. Then just snap it back, okay? Once you snap it back, cut a 45 degree bevel here. That gives you movement both ways. Plenty of movement, plenty of throw. Plane handles amazingly. It'll spin just, it'll roll like you wouldn't believe. It's, it's insane, this. Now, the motor mount. This I 3 print modeled and 3 printed. Hot glue it on. The reason I've done that is because I've seen a lot of reports of these planes just having the motor hot glued on. The motor gets hot, melts the glue, motor comes off, prop tears at the plane. This is almost essentially just a heat barrier. You screw the motor to that then you hot glue the plastic mount to the plane. It's actually really strongly on there. You can't get that off. And that's that bit done, basically. Um, the motor is an Emax 2750KV. Up to take up the 5S, we run it at 4S, we get 644 watts, 20, no, sorry, 57 amps, and 1,400 grams of thrust. Not sure how fast it goes, but if you look in the video, it beat the jet skis like they were standing still. And, you know, they started doing around 65 miles an hour. So you get an idea of how fast the wing is. All up, the cost of this is probably around £60 with the gear that goes in it. We're just using 5.8 transmitter, small cam mount on the nose, run cam mount on the nose. We flew it without the canopy, simply because we mounted the run cam there. I am going to modify it to take my GoPro by cutting a sh shape in here and three printing a rubber mount on there. If anybody's interested in that, 
I'll do a video of that, the design, the print, and put the ST, STL files up for people to download. Let me know in the comments if you actually want that. If you do, I'll make sure I do that. But that's about it. We're in a three blade 50 48 prop on it. Um, yeah, the 1750 milliamp 4S who flew it on got nearly nearly 11 minutes flight time. I think it was 10.38 we landed and it took another 15, 20 milliamps to fill it, well, top it back up. So we used a fair bit of capacity in the battery, but battery fine. Not, none of the components were hot. We use a mini quad ESC, I think it's a B-Heli 54 amp, I think, something like that, with burst capability of 57, so it's, or 58 for 10 seconds. So we're covered there. Oh, and that's nothing. Yeah, ESC I mount here for cooling. See, I've cut this groove here. It all gets inlaid in here. I put electrical tape on top of that to make it neat. Socket goes there, battery there, plugs in there. It's a really neat install. It's just a great plane to fly. All up, the cost is about £60. Glider sells £7.99. And it's fantastic. If you don't want to buy two, two gliders, you just want to buy one, just use the single tail from the fuselage. Cut it, as you can see, just about here. All right, I eyeballed this, didn't measure it. Cut that. You then got your tail segment. In fact, I've got a tail segment. Let me get that for you. So you take this bit, and this normally goes on here, as you can see. So you take that off. Now what you can do is cut that and mount that there as a single tail on top. You then take your elevators that I've used here to make your canards. You then got almost the same with a single tail. You don't need a V-tail. I thought it looked cool. I like V-tails. So that's what you went with. As I say, if you would like a full build video, step by step, comment below and when the glider is next available or if I can find one on eBay or something, I'll buy one and I'll do the build video for you. But let me know below. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, like, subscribe and check out the jet ski video if you haven't already. Thanks very much. Catch you later.